I have another YouTube channel that I started a few months ago and kind of gave up with, you know, after a, after a couple of weeks. But there's a few videos on there that I want to put them on this channel. So today, I thought, since I've really not recorded anything so far, and it's now getting quite late and dark, this was the perfect day to upload one of those videos. So here it is. Hey, it's Magnus here, and today I'm gonna talk about this, the water jet cutter. This is by no means a comprehensive, full-on guide to the water jet cutter. It's just that I've been asked by a lot of people um, just to sort of show more of it. And so I thought I'll, I'll give a little overview because I'm familiar with the, this water jet cutter now. I've had it for a year and a half, done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours with it. It's it's old hat, but I know it's, I'm, I'm still amazed by it. And I know that a lot of others uh, are amazed by it and don't really know a lot about it because there isn't much information online. So I don't know where to start really. Um, right, tell you what, there's, there's three components to the water jet cutter. You have the main cutter here. We'll start at what it does, work our way back and then work our way forward. I think that should work. So if we look down here, we have, you can see that, this is the, this is the nozzle here. So what comes out of that nozzle at twice the speed of sound is basically a jet of water, very high pressure. It's something like 48,000 PSI. That water comes out of there, but it's not the water that does the cutting. What does the cutting is this stuff here. Now this, that stuff in there is called garnet, and it's basically very, very fine sand. And that stuff there is what does the cutting of whatever you're cutting, in my case, titanium, almost all the time. The water is like a carrier for the garnet, and it just, it's basically a medium to allow the garnet to cut. So continuing to work backwards, this is the Y travel, and here, very dirty, but this is the X travel. So you have the X and the Y. Here, we have the Z travel. So, three dimensions. This is called the gantry. The whole gantry is resting on basically a huge tank of water. Now, it's got to be a tank of water for, I think, at least two reasons. One reason, you've got to have this body of water to stop that force of the stream of water coming out. It also acts as a, as a way to catch the garnet because you go through a lot of this stuff around about, oh, what is it, 20, 20 kilograms an hour, so that's about 40 pounds um, every hour. So when you do a full day's cutting, you're going through about 400 pounds of the stuff. So that ends up in the bottom of that tank. Another thing to mention is that this water gets really, really hot. When you cut all day, it gets so hot, you can hardly put your, put your, put your hand in it. Like I can put my hand in there right now, but I couldn't keep it in it. So continuing to work back the way, we have the nozzle down here. I'll zoom in for you. We have the nozzle down there. The water comes down this pipe here. This pipe, I don't know if you can see that, this pipe here is where the water travels. This pipe has got to handle the 48,000 PSI. So it's about five, six, it's about six or eight millimeters thick, but the hole in the middle is like one or two millimeters. So it's a, it's a really, really thick walled pipe to handle the pressures. So the water is coming, you know, it's going this way, but we're just going back to where it's, where it originates, comes down here, comes through here, comes down here. This is where it ends up. This is the pump. This is the main pump. It's really heavy because if you look down here, you see that there? There's my, there's my hand for scale. That is a big, big motor like I'm not sure how many horse it is, 20 horse or something, it's, it's big. So in here, there's basically three big pistons and they generate the pressure to pump the water through here and out the nozzle at the end. I'll show you the computer in a second, but first, two things to show you. We got two water filters here and we got another two water filters here and we got another filter at the end that's called the last chance filter. You can't get any impurities in the water going through because they'll damage the, the head of the of the water jet cutter. 
So we've got, basically we've got four big filters just to really make sure the water's clean. Because of where I live, the water can get very hot in summer. And so we've actually got to cool the water before it reaches here because if the water's too hot, I think 16 or 18 degrees centigrade is kind of like the upper limit. Because if it's too hot, the seals and things like that in, in the pump won't function right. They'll be too hot, they'll be too soft, and it can cause issues. So we actually had to install a water cooler here. And that's a tank that holds the cold water before it goes into the machine. That's specific to us. I don't believe many or any other people have that. Now I'm really only scratching the surface of this water jet cutter. There's so much more to it, but I just want to give you a quick overview. Lastly, we have the computer which runs it. So this is the screen. This is a bit of software you get with it. The make of this water jet cutter is Maxium. Omax is the company. Maxium is this sort of make model that they do. And this is the smallest one they do actually. This is the sort of smallest water jet gutter you can get, certainly from Omax anyway. This is the screen uh, where you can sort of do your drawing. There's another bit of software where you can, where it then sort of goes from drawing to cutting. So I'll show you a quick drawing and simulation really quickly and sort of show you how fast you can set something up for cutting. And that's it really, like that's it simulated, that's shown what it's going to cut when we actually run it. Now we've, we're cutting some titanium tweezers right now, the machine's all set up for that. It, it's, it'll be too much hassle just to sort of stop doing that to show you a cut, but I'll show you a cut another day. So yeah, hopefully that gives you a bit of an overview. I've obviously missed out some major parts and you might be confused and you, you know, feel free to comment and I can do another video later, but that should give you an overview of how the water jet cutter works.